Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in today's video, I wanted to let you know how you can get a free cybersecurity certificate right now from ISC Squared. So for those of you who don't know, ISC Squared is the largest cybersecurity professional body in the world. Right? And they started way back in 1989. And one of the main goals of ISC Squared is training cybersecurity professionals. Right? And they primarily do this through their certification programs. Alright, so one of their most popular certification is CISSP. As a matter of fact, CISSP is one of the most prestigious cybersecurity certifications in the world. So if you were to go to like recruitment sites such as LinkedIn, Indeed, etc., and you were to search for cybersecurity rules, most likely you'd see CISSP as one of these requirements, right? Especially for like senior professionals or management rules. You know, more than likely, you'd see that the CISSP certificate is a requirement. And CISSP stands for Certified Information System Professional. I was actually planning to get the CISSP certificate next year, 2023, because I'm currently um, finishing up some additional studies right now. Right? However, when I learned about this new certificate that they were offering, you know, it's an entry-level certificate. Um, the name of the certificate is Certified in Cybersecurity. So when I learned about it, you know, it was a bit intriguing. And when I looked into it even more, right, I learned that ISC Squared is offering the actual training for the certificate for free. That's right, they're offering entire content in terms of preparing you for the certification for free. And that's not the best part. They're also offering the exam voucher for free as well right so the, the current exam the price of the exam voucher is actually 200 us dollars and they are waiving this price you know they are waiving this this fee right now right so what i what i so literally you could get this professional certification in cybersecurity from the world's leading body cybersecurity body for free right now well, almost for free. So I'll explain a little later. So when I considered all these things, I said, you know what? I have to do this, right? So I jumped on the train. I, I prepped. I studied and stuff. And two weeks later, I'm the proud holder of the Cy um, Certified in Cybersecurity Certificate by ISC Squared. So as I mentioned, the certificate is almost for free. So what do I mean by that? Right, so they provide the training for free. They provide the exam for free as well. However, you do have to pay your membership fee, right, which is 50 US dollars a year, right? You have to pay that, that yearly membership subscription in order to actually get the certificate, right? So you can basically study for it, um, pass the exam, get the, the certificate of completion, but to actually get the official certificate, you need to, Pay that 50 US dollars um, yearly subscription, which to me personally, I didn't mind doing because all the value that you get with this entire, you know, um, training and certificate and everything, you know, it's totally worth it. So I didn't mind paying that 50 US dollars um, to get the actual um, certificate. So what makes this particular certificate unique is that unlike some of the other certificates that ISC Squared offers, like CISSP, for example, you need um, work experience and stuff like that before you can actually write those exams, right? To get those before you could get that certification. So I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's like two or three years actual work experience you need before you could attempt the CISSP certification. That's one of the requirements. Unlike that, this entry level certificate is basically geared towards people who are new in the cybersecurity realm or who are looking to now penetrate the cybersecurity field. So with that said, there's no prior um, knowledge or there are no prerequisites um, to get the certificate, 
right? So this is perfect for anyone, as I mentioned, who is not, you're now probably looking to get in to cybersecurity, but you're not sure where to start. You know, this is definitely a good option in terms of what it offers. Also, it's, it's good for people who is already in the field, probably you're already in the cybersecurity field, maybe you're a junior person and stuff like that, and you want to validate your skill set. This is perfect for you as well. You know, this would kind of reinforce some of the, the core concepts and it gives you that certificate, you know, where you could show your employers, here's what, I am, I may not be CISSP level, but I am certified by ISC squared in the certificate um, of cybersecurity, right? So it kind of, it, it, it reinforces and it validates your skill set as well. So the training itself is actually broken up into five parts or sections or segments, however you want to refer to it. So these comprise of security principles, incident response, access control, network security, and security operations. So just to give you a little more detail about these sections, the security control section, this consists of risk management and governance, uh, incident response, this covers business continuity, disaster recovery, access control covers physical controls, logical controls, network security covers computer networking, cyber threats and attacks, network security infrastructure, and security operation consists of data security, system hardening, security awareness, etc. So the format of the actual training is that it's a mixture of videos and articles, right? But they do a really good job of breaking down these concepts in a very digestible way, meaning that it's it's not super complicated. They make it very easy to grasp. You know, so when when I I am I personally don't like reading a lot, I must admit, you know, but they they, they didn't make the videos I'm sorry, they didn't make the articles too complex or they didn't make it too long, right? So it was, it was, you know, it's great for people like myself who don't really like to read that much, right? I actually prefer like, you know, I'm a visual and I prefer like videos and stuff like that. And even the videos, it was short and concise, you know, it was to the point. And the actual video, you know, it did, it was a bit of a narrative. So they, without giving away too much, they showed you the, um, how should I put it? The timeline, in other words, which concentrated of this young man who worked in a, a cafe, right? Um, like a, one of those coffee shops. And they show you how he went from being an ordinary person who didn't know anything about cybersecurity uh, um, to being someone who actually worked in the cybersecurity field at the end of the course, right? It shows you like, you know, he had a, a someone, one of his customers, that used to come in and they worked in the field and I, okay i don't want to give away too much but it, it does a good job of showing you that the barrier to cyber security it's not that high you know or it's not impossible it shows you that anyone like person average person like yourself who probably is not working in cyber security could get into it right so it does a great job right of teaching you these core concepts and it does so in a very easy understandable way and one of the cool things is that it's actually on demand so the, i think you have access to the content for like 180 days af after actually signing up for to do the, the certificate and the, the course right so that makes it super easy you don't have to worry about attending any live sessions and stuff like that you could literally study in your own time Right, so I took like maybe an hour a day or maybe a little more, I would say, for like about a week to complete the entire course. Right, and um, at the end of each section, there's actually a short quiz, which kind of, um, you know, it, it, it goes over some of the things you would have learned. So it kind of gives you an idea of where you're at, you know, and if you need to probably go back and revisit some of the topics before moving on. Right, but all in all, the training was, you know, was super great, I think. You know, the way they delivered it, it being um, on demand, giving you the opportunity to study when you wanted to. As I mentioned, it took me about a week to fully prepare and study for the certificate. And at the end of all the sections, you know, in terms of all the material that you would have studied, they give you this, um, this practice quiz, 
which comprises of 75 questions, multiple choice. And once you do that, it kind of gives you a, 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 a gauge of where you're at in terms of skill set. So I think I got like 80 something percent when I did that. And once you do that as well, that exam, you get your course completion certificate. Right, so there was actually a bit of confusion there when I did that and I got the course completion certificate. I actually thought this was the actual certificate. So I was like, cool, I passed the certificate, right? And it was only until maybe a day or two later that I realized this wasn't actually the certificate. This was just the course completion certificate, right? So there was a bit of confusion there for me, right? So just giving you some advance warning, right? That's not the actual real, you know, authentic certificate, um, you have to go on the ISC Squared website and schedule the certificate, schedule the exam, sorry, right? And the exam is done through Pearson View, right? A lot of you probably did certificates before know about Pearson View, they are body that kind of um, proctors these exams. So I, I had to go on the Pearson View website and, you know, schedule a certificate. And one kind of disappointing thing for me was that you had to physically go into one of these person views um, testing center to sit the exam. For the past two, two or three years since the whole pandemic um, situation, most people were just propped in remotely because I did a couple of Microsoft certifications and, you know, I did it from home, you know, from the comfort of my home, being remotely proctored. But that's not the case with this exam. They want you to actually physically go as testing center to sit the certificate and um, the exam so really it was no biggie for me because at the end of the day i'll be getting a super cool um certification so, but just letting you know in advance that that's what you need to do so i prepared i i how i prepared like that the week before i got the date of the following week to do the exam you know additional week that was the time slot i got so i prepared i kind of just went through some of the material again all right completed the course and then I did the practice test once more of 75 questions. And I thought I was in a really good position because I was doing really good on the practice tests and stuff like that. However, I would say when I went into the actual exam, it was a bit harder than I had anticipated. It wasn't, you know, yes, it was similar to the practice test, but I would say it was a bit harder, you know, to the extent that, you know, halfway through the exam i kind of was wondering if i'm actually gonna pass this this exam or not right but that said i did pass the exam and i finished in half the time actually so it was two hours for the exam they give you 100 multiple choice questions and i was able to complete in an hour time and i was super ecstatic to you know to find out that i passed the exam so all in all, I would say this is a pretty good certificate. I would highly recommend you guys get this. Right now, ISC Squared is offering these things for free in terms of the training and the exam and stuff like that. That may change eventually. So if you're thinking about getting it, sign up now, right? Um, this video is no way affiliated with ISC Squared. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I'm just telling you personally as someone who's interested in cybersecurity and, you know, getting my foothold more in there, right? This is a great opportunity, I think, for anyone um, in, in, in the same um, situation, right? Already probably working there, right? So this certificate, as I mentioned, you know, it covers a broad range of different concepts. So it gives you that nice foundational level right it's not you know whereas other certificates they kind of um specialize in different fields like penetration testing and stuff like that right this is not like that right this just gives you a broad overview right which is cool i think and it's needed especially if you're now looking to get in to cyber security or you're not or you're new to cyber security right so my experience i highly recommend this certificate it's isc squared it's cyber security it's free almost so don't miss this opportunity sign up today guys so that brings me to the end of this video remember if you like the content i'm sharing if you found value in this video be sure to subscribe and if you want to find out whenever i release a new video just click on that little notification bell and that will notify you anytime i release a new video as always thanks again for viewing see you soon